In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the replayer functionality of the Tournament Poker Manager or the Bodog Poker Replayer. Um, I just started the application, and what you'll notice here on the upper right hand side is a summary of all the tournament information. Uh, so let's just go ahead and load a hand history by clicking on the Load Hand History Information button. And we will grab a tournament. Let's take one that has a few hands, maybe this one. And it will load up. What you'll notice up here on the right hand side is the tournament information, the uh, bow dog tournament number, the description, the buy in and the rake, the start date and time, and the end date, uh, your finished position, amount one, if any, number of hands you played, minutes you played, and hand per hours. Uh, if you didn't have this saved to the tournament tracker database, which we'll go into in a different video, you can click on the save tournament summary information and it'll actually save it to your tracker database. Now, on the, below the information is the hand information. This will change for each hand you play. So this is the first hand of the tournament, and this is the Bulldog hand number, the small blind, big blind, antes if any, and the number of big blinds that you currently have with your chip stack. There's some different options. You can either show or hide the whole cards. Uh, by default, we show all the whole cards. The Bulldog hand history is actually contain the whole cards for all the different players, as you can see. You can also highlight the, the hero, which is us, of course. Uh, and it's hard to see sometimes where you are because all you know about you is the me in here. So it'll just kind of highlight where you are. You can also highlight the, hill, the villain's action. So as the action goes to each villain, it'll actually highlight them when it's their action to play. There's also some options for going from hand to hand. You can have the standard action, which is it will play every hand in the tournament, or the hero action, where it'll only play those hands that you are in. On the bottom, you'll see a list of all the hands that you've played. So in this tournament, I've played 266 hands. The red are hands I've lost. Uh, green are hands I won. Gray are hands I was not involved in. There's also a search option here. So if you know the hand number, you can start typing it, and it'll actually jump to what you type in. Uh, if you want to actually jump to a specific, specific hand, you can use this grid down here and just click on it. So if we jump to hand number 30, you can see it looks like we won with the 10-10. If you use a hand replayer, it's just like any other hand replayer. Clicking the button here shows you the action as it happens. And I managed to hit a set, which was lucky, and I won the hand. I'm going to the next hand, obviously, it goes back and forth. And this, you'll notice on the bottom here, it actually shows you which hand you're on. Again, if you have highlighted the hero action and click the previous or next, if I click previous, it's going to go to the next, or the, in this case, the previous hand that I had action in. So you know, if I go to next, it'll jump to there. So an easy way to just highlight all the different hands you have action in and replay it. Again, if you don't want to show the whole cards, once you get a next one, you can see now all the whole cards for all the villains are now hidden. And that really is a summary of how to use the hand replay.